All right, so I wanted to share this new story because this is a it concerns and I and I'm sure it concerns a lot of people and surely I, and I want to address to the the Muslim population I want to say to them as well that I'm willing to and people like us are willing to to you know be very charitable to them and we say that we we're not like traditional people that like, why don't you come out and condemn everything why don't you apologize for the sins of other or crimes of other Muslims no we don't even demand that from you but what we do say is that surely somewhere deep down inside you can recognize certain problems. And when you recognize certain problems, why can't you express it equally on equal terms? For example, we know what happened in Canada. And um, it was that new story was plastered all across the Muslim world, mainly in Pakistan and I'm sure in other Muslim countries as well. Um, when this Pakistani Muslim family was uh, was run over by a truck by by a white supremacist Veltman or whatever his name was, I uh, hope he rots in prison for the rest of his life. Um, and so many Canadians came out and they said, you know, that they gave flowers and all of that. So so they condemned that. That's good. The other one. Now, when we see similar kind of actions, events, or crimes by certain Muslims. Now, again, you don't have to apologize for it. You've, you you know, you if you're a good person who's paying taxes, abiding by the local laws and, you know, minding your own business and don't have any hate for anyone else, good on you. But as a, as a representative of a certain community, I think it's important that you talk about this to a point. Not everyone has a platform either, but, but to some extent, everyone has a platform now on Twitter. We see, we can instantly see um, Twitter hashtags, where, we, whichever country we're in. So why don't we see such an outrage when we see news stories like this? Now, this article was originally written in Urdu, so um, pardon the ignore the grammar mistakes because this has been published in in a Pakistani news outlet. Um, and, um, and and I'm glad that they actually, this Neador, Neador is like an independent, it's not a mainstream news website, but it is a uh, quite a popular one. And it's been, I'm, I'm glad that they actually wrote about it. Um, and, I'm, and, and we will want more of that behavior. So I want more mainstream, ordinary Muslim public to react on that as well in equal terms. Just imagine this 13 year old girl could be a Muslim girl. But but can you imagine the outrage if it read as two white supremacists raped and killed a 13 year old Muslim girl in London? Can you Could you imagine the outrage? Uh, rightfully so, there should be an outrage. I'm not saying there shouldn't be an outrage. I'm saying there should be an equal amount of outrage when we see these kind of news stories. To be honest, I, I, I don't think even any other media reported on that either. If you if you actually Google that, uh, maybe because it's only four days old, I reckon it should have spread like a wildfire. But anyway, it hasn't. Um, but good on Neado. Thank you very much for actually reporting on that. So anyway, so the details on the Austrian capital, Vienna, of all the countries, Austria is already cracking down on Islam. And what, what makes you think? Why don't you think that they are going to crack down even more? So two Afghan refugees raped and killed a 13-year-old girl. Vienna police found the body of a 13-year-old girl last Sunday. According to details, police launched an investigation. And on Monday, Vienna police arrested two people and began investigating the case. After the investigation of the case was completed, Austrian Interior Minister Karl Nehammer said in a statement that the main suspects in this case had been detained and both were from Afghanistan. According to the international news agency, after completing the investigation, the police said that the girl went to their house voluntarily. Now, that line actually broke my heart. That little girl, she went to the house voluntarily thinking that she's she is dealing with human beings. What, that says a lot about her upbringing as well, that people in that community would have been like, okay, people are good. Okay, you can go there or whatever. Because human beings are not supposed to act like that. But the two Afghan refugees first gave the minor girl some drugs and then raped and killed the girl and dumped her body. According to the police, the two boys are Afghan nationals and have taken refuge in Austria. So apparently one of the guys 
guys was 16 year old and the other one was 18 which i strongly doubt it because they deliberately create fake birth certificates before they go overseas to seek refuge because if they're under 18 it makes their application a lot easier so these guys were probably most probably in all likelihood were not under 18 they deliberately came out pretended to be younger than what they actually were so they anyway so um both the accused had applied for, and, and, and look at this, so they actually applied for political asylum in Austria for many years, but now both of them have been arrested and legal action is being taken. So what makes you think that? How does that make, <laughs> could you actually blame these Western governments for cracking down on refugees? And, and I think the sad part is that there are genuine refugees, genuine refugees like ex-Muslim refugees coming from Pakistan and all these Muslim countries. There are other genuine refugees as well. There, there could be some genuine um, uh, persecuted Muslims as well. For example, Shias in Pakistan. For example, Ahmadis who like to call themselves Muslims in Pakistan. All of these people, genuine people, are going to suffer because of hypocrisy. Now, again, this could have happened anyway, and anyone could have done that. That's not the point. Nobody is saying that this is when well, Muslims are hardwired to do it. I, I'm not saying that. And if, if anyone who says that is, a, is an absolute idiot. But the point is, as a society, as a community, when are we going to see a strong reaction on these kind of news stories? I remember when it happened in, Ge in Germany, when um, I think there were North African or whatever, there, there was a huge influx of refugees in 2016 or 17. And in the new year, um, one of the New Year's, new Year's Day, 2017 New Year's Day, 2018 New Year's Day, um, there were these mass uh, in, uh, cases of molestation in, in, in two cities of Germany. And where are these men coming from? What mentality are they bringing? Um, so again, as I said, any decent Muslim would be outraged but their outrage need to be seen. Uh, you know how they say uh, uh, justice seems to be done. Um, not necessarily justice uh, needs to, to be done. Justice also seems to be done. Um, and just like that, your outrage, you just don't need to have an outrage in your private company. You actually need to show your outrage. Um, yeah, that was a very sad, heartbreaking news story. To help me produce more videos like these, support me on Patreon or PayPal.